today we're having a very special episode here on Molly Rachel TV. You know me. I'm all about the youth. I'm always looking out for you. And you know, before even story ya kutengeneza pesa na relationships, lazima kwanza tujitunze sisi, si ndio? And um, today we have Martin. A friend of mine, we met through Jobo by the Masai Hustles. Masai Hustles by the Nzile cha pamoja. And uh, you reached out to me and told me, you know what? There's this condition that I have. And I feel I'm not alone. Many mm. other young people probably suffering from this. Nataka mm. tuilete out in the light. Mm. Alaf pia nisaidie. So tell us about this condition. And then we'll move on from there. Mm. My name is Martin Kimamu. Yes. A friend of yours. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I was born with a medical condition known as hyperhidrosis. Mm -hmm. In a simple explanation, it's an excessive sweating disorder. Okay. Uh, hyperhidrosis is categorized into two. Mm -hmm. So, and understanding the two is the first step to treatment and knowing yeah. the condition itself. Do you call category gani eh, so, uh -huh. so we have primary focal mm -hmm. hyperhidrosis, mm -hmm. which is now the medical condition itself. Okay, that it's, is it that you are born with? That now you are born with. You are now. Okay. It starts way from childhood, mm -hmm. ama in a adolescent stage, ah. in a from there. Right. So it's not caused by uh, another medical condition mm -hmm. or a side effect to medication. All right. It's the medical condition itself. Right. And it affects the body symmetrically. Mm -hmm. So this means kuna zile areas in effect which are called now the focal areas. Uh -huh. e, this includes sasa mikono, the mikono, palms, the palms, uh -huh. the armpits, Makwapa. and the feet. Migu. Sinaona ni symmetric. Uh -huh. Zote kila kitu mbili mbili uh -huh. in twos. Oh, yeah. That's called symmetric. I got boobs, will you be sweating there as well? Yuvo, chini ya boobs Probably. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay. It does. All right. Mm. Higher. So that's one. That's one. Category. That's one What's category. What's the second one? Second one it's called uh, secondary generalized. Uh -huh. Now this it's a reaction to a medication mm -hmm. and a medical condition. Mm -hmm. So mostly for the women, those when you have menopause, uh -huh. uh, ukiona diabetes, mm -hmm. ukiona cancer, okay. ama down natumia ziko na mercury. Oh. It can lead to that. Okay. Now the difference ni hii na happen when you're an, an adult. Mhm. Mm in your adult stage. Yeah, so ni kama side effect ambayo una pick up because of eh, medication or mm. another disease that has now in here inhabited your body. True. So we are talking to this young person who mm. probably anafikiria ni kitu ya kawaida as in mm. I, I just wait mm. extra because maybe Mungu kunywa maji mobo. Ama <laughs> ama naona ah mimi na kuanga too different labda naona metabolism yangu inakuanga. Mm. You know how young people want to just have reasons or yeah. excuses how can you differentiate a normal sweating mm. pattern mm. to now hyperhidrosis well hyperhidrosis is uncontrollable eh uh -huh. you always control uh -huh. unaweza sweat asubuhi paka jioni what it's uncontrollable okay and it has no cure mm -hmm. but it can be managed right now to differentiate from a normal person, mm -hmm. a normal acclimated person mm. sweats up to four liters per hour. Per hour? Ah. Yani hivi, four liters? Sweat, four liters. Four liters? Yeah. Liters in the matu. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's only more. I didn't even know that. No, no. Did you for know a normal this? Person, for a normal this? person. Like in some Mimi, I do, I may go overboard. I do more than that. But you see, what you want to say? Come and see you to I'm just saying, come to the one more, you'd be the better version of the cow. Mm. Oh, you understand? Could have been a more liters. <laughs> Grade one. <laughs> when you're going hyperhidrosis, mm. you do more than that. Mm -hmm. Alafu, we're still sticking to the key areas, the focal areas. Yes. Is mikono, nini mikono, eh. A normal person, a key sweat mikono, ni maybe says, kuna kitu anafanya, maybe. Uh, an interview, a job interview. Hey, the nerves, eh? Ama, ama kuna project unafanya na iko on deadline. Kuna deadline pale. Kwa under pressure. So, you uh, are under pressure. Anxiety mm -hmm. make it in. Uh -huh. But once you are done with the projects, you are back to normal. That's true. Now, that's for true. someone who has a nini, hyperhidrosis. Doesn't matter. Sasa anxiety kwanza kikupata. Uwe. Kikubaya. Kikubaya. <laughs> 
Sasa so that means ita kukatia demu shida. Shida. Oh Kofi my kono god. Kwa sababu kuna ina gonga, <laughs> mikono zina sota, alafu you always rub your yeah. your palms kwa nini? Cuz now you're I'm nervous. Like guys like that. So yeah. you you kind of look at them and then you're like, "Well, okay, fine. It's kind of cute I make you nervous like that." <laughs> But you know, kumbe anatweku kuwipe yeah. mikono. Yeah, ni kuwipe na try ku ku nini? Ana try ku wipe the sweat of his palms. Yeah. Actually, it could dry me on my head. Let's talk about your life. Okay, okay. You know, mm. you're young. Mm. I'm sure kuna madem umekuwa labda in that situation unataka kukatia. Mm. Say even in high school uh. when you're just getting into that whole dating uh. scene. Uh. How was it for you? For me, nilijua niko nayo nikiwa primary school, but I didn't know it's a condition, mm. a medical condition. Nilijipata niko pale, I'm the only one with sweaty palms mm. nigusa zingine na sweat mm-hmm. makuwa hapa nilikuwa ni mimi mm. the rest wako sawa yeah so sasa zile tunafanya homework kama nini me old math my exercise books oh no ukiandika Nabot. ile unaandika eh si sweat paddles zinaja yeah. na sasa unatumia pencil so ukiandika unaandika ukifuta kana slide pia sasa nao kutaandikwa na oh Also, you know, like, you're just a messy boy. Yeah. yeah, teachers need to actually be educated. No, now, so if you can exam time now, anxiety building up. Oh, of course. Now, uko, uko in a whole different zone. Mm. I would shy off from physical activities. Mm. Pee, nini, anything that involves sweat. physical contact. Ile ati kumunashika na mikono oh. na nini. Because unajua kuna, kuna mtu mwenye utamshika mkono. And I then said, They have that feeling of disgust you know yeah. like, like ama kuna wengine pia paka say you'll shake hands with someone and they rub it off Ima- so immediately you immediately. see them do that so you inakufanya ga una feel una feel ah now so say when it is cardolent sent me the stage so that mm. will be more challenging because oh you're trying to interact with the ladies yeah. but they see you as hey, you're more of an alien to them <laughs> 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 You're more an alien to them. Teens can be mean. They can be. My friend. And that's when they they don't even want to pretend to hold some words back. Wana kwambia tu ah huyu wewe una kwangu na sweat nini nini. Yo atakushow. How do you shield yourself from that? As as a person, young guy, labda hata ameshaipita kitu kama hiyo. Unamwambiaaje ndio asife moyo? Well, number one, you need to accept and own your flaw. Mm. Me I did. Mm. But it wasn't a walk in the park. Yeah. Think it will really happen overnight. It's mm. a journey mm. to own your flaw. Mm. And then if you get to that point where you can even freely tell people whether I have this certain condition. Yeah. Yeah. Cause up to now and we all share one thing in common mm. people have hyperhidrosis to meet mm. the HH or HS. Uh-huh. What we have in common is we are more subconscious. Mm. Before ni kusalimie mimi na kuganisha. Piga hiyo hesabu. Ni kweli. But then it's a process. Unasema piga hiyo hesabu. Number one cuz I like, took a home. <laughs> by the time I took a home I have like four pairs of handkerchiefs. Hizo ziko ready. Mejo nimekuja interview so kuna moja ndashika nitafanya interview. Mm. Nishaona ndio mwalimu Rachel I'm about to shake hands with her. Yeah. Nishaanza ku dry mikono nikiwa. Okay. In advance to <laughs> anticipating the building. Eh. Nishae dry mikono ile ndo. Nikishakufikia nikusalimia yeah. ndio you will feel ai mikono ziko clammy, humid. Humid. Eh? <laughs> Lakini utajua ni nini ni hapo. Exactly. Probably uta confuse sema ah umse amepitia washroom. Kuna wengine ah. wako anaweza I've been to the washroom. Yeah. yeah. Oh my goodness. Kwa hapo the first thing before I think uh, mm. just to place myself in your shoes mm. maybe maybe one thing I would do mm. if I had the condition mm. and yes I would have a handkerchief with me mm. humor always works best whenever you're in a sticky situation sure. you know uh. so have a hanky with you mm. and then just when you're about to greet someone you mm. just wipe Now, of course they're going to see you wipe so, mm. so ah, sorry you know what? I I sweat a lot you know mm. I mean or hey, your beauty just made me sweat a lot today exactly. when I'm super to sana so una check it it's a counter effect do you man maze jo una jo kuna vile nyewe umetokea leo umeiva hapa kwa kana za tu kwa nervous maze wacha tunijiwa hizi mikono i love sana una salimia mtu of course I, i don't want people to live in that emotional bubble yeah so martin This is what we're going to do, okay? We're going to go on a short break, okay? This is part one of this discussion because and yet there's a lot that we need to dive into. Uh, so we'll have a part two of this same interview. Um, and when it airs, of course, you'll be the first to know. I hope you shall subscribe. We are here to help you as a young person live and get through hyperhidrosis. 
and that's why Martin is still going to be here with us on Molly Rachel TV. If you haven't subscribed, I would suggest strongly that you do it right now. Na weke your notification on ili sawa kujua when part 2 comes out.